Okay, let's go back to the CCI question. But this time, it will be a different route. We already agreed that CCIE is still worth it. I personally th think that the level of knowledge, especially the troubleshooting part and the discipline in preparation, is nothing compared against other certification, if you compare the CCI journey against other certification. Now, here's the question. For someone who is already a CCIE, what is the best path to take? Because a lot of people, if you're a CCIE, you go or you stay at the technical level, like an architect level, okay? Yeah. And a lot of people say, oh, I want to be a manager. I want to be a CISO. I want to be a CTO. Do you think you as a CCIE who knows many different technologies, if, of course, if you are a CCIE, you can easily learn other technologies, right? Do you agree? Of course, yeah. All right, so here are some of the questions that I have. If I'm a CCIE, can I move to management? If I am a CCIE, can I be a CTO or CISO? What do you think? Yes, you can. Um, it's gonna depend on your personality as well, yeah? So, I mean, both of us, we, we know quite a lot of CCIEs, yeah? And actually most, I'd say most of them would be able to go into a management role, no issues. They work well in teams. Of course, they're going to be highly respected. And because we've got such good technical knowledge, it's going to be easy for them to, to mentor the people on their staff. But there are some people that maybe <laughs> don't work so well in a team they, they work very well on their own because this can be actually an advantage if you're studying for the ccie if you're able to get like within yourself and be hyper focused that helps because you know you have to do a lot of study to get the ccie so there are some people like that that work really well on their own they're also great if they're for your company as well because you can give them a task and you know they're going to do a really good job on it but there maybe would not be as suitable as a team leader because maybe their their man management skills mm. are, are not as good. It still depends on the personality. It depends on the personality. Yeah. 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 But but the question is, if you're a CCIE, um, can you overcome some of the technical challenges? Because you know, a lot of people are really think CCIE is not as good as we say it or as we claim it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I know a lot of people, oh, CCI is nothing. Uh, okay, none of them are a CCIE yeah, that course, say that. Of course. Yeah. Like waste of time, too expensive, waste of money, waste of time. I will rather go to this track or understand this technology. And they have no idea what kind of journey, what kind of experience that you will gain on the preparation, on taking the exam, on yeah. reading all of those books and doing all of those lab exercises. Yeah, yeah, it is It is not easy. It is a lot of work. When when I say it's not easy, there, there's nothing, there's not one part of what you're gonna learn that is difficult to understand. Everything can be learned, I think, by, by most people, but, it's so wide and it is very deep as well that ev everything you learn, you can learn it, but you, you have to really, really learn it to a very deep level. And there's a lot of different technologies that you have to do that for. So, I mean, it it is months of work. When I, and when I say months of work, I don't mean spending, a, it's going to be months of spending an hour or two a night. I mean, it's months of spending all your free time learning mm -hmm. this stuff, Practice labs, practice labs, practice labs until you've got it absolutely nailed down. And then you also need to be able to perform on the day as well. Like it, you go on location, you're actually in a Cisco office. It's highly pressured because you've spent so much time getting to that point that it's, it, it, I mean, how important is it to you like on the day do you remember very important yeah like you have to be at your best yeah it's like it's a culmination if you spent so much work to get to that point 
and then you're finally on the day and you have to perform on the day as well. So I, I hadn't actually thought of it so much before. You mentioned it earlier that I'd always thought, okay, you say if I'm hiring somebody, I'd always just thought, okay, if I'm going to, why would I hire a CCIE? It's because of their technical knowledge. I know that they really, really know this mm -hmm. thing. But it's not just that. It does also prove that you've got the discipline to go through And how can you handle this. the pressure? Yeah. Because yeah. being a CCIE, during your phase, your journey up to the exam itself, there's a lot of pressure. Yeah. And that experience, you can use it in other roles, in other challenges in life, yeah. not only in your career, right? Yeah. Yeah. You've t if you've got the CCI, you've proven that you've got the self-discipline because nobody is doing the CCIE for you. You can't force somebody mm. to do that. The person's got to have the, the motivation themselves. They've got to have the drive themselves to to actually get that work done. So it, it proves that they've got the self-discipline and the motivation to do this really hard thing. It also proves that they are capable of performing on the day and actually, you know, following through with that, getting it done. So yeah, I mean, if if you're hiring somebody for a technical position and a CCIE becomes available, like you hardly even need to interview them. The interview is just to see that they'll fit in the team. Mm -hmm. They've already proven their technical skills like way beyond a doubt at that point. Also, yeah, like I said, their self-motivation as well. So you just need to check that they're not some kind of maniac that won't fit in the team. Yeah, I also know some CCIE who transitioned on becoming a cloud engineer. It for 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 that spe uh, specific guy for that CCIE, he said uh, his mentality was, "I was able to pass CCIE with more yeah. than a year of preparation. There's no way I will not understand the cloud." Yeah. Okay. So we CCIEs, we already have this. Um, challenged that we face the exam all of the journey and uh, our attitude is oh we can learn anything yeah also it, it's great for your confidence when you're oh, in there the you job go. confidence as well. yeah yeah you have your confidence to understand many technologies okay or yeah. many problems to to solve many problems because yeah. of what you've experienced yeah you know you get like it's really all known imposter syndrome and I think like pretty much any CCIE, if they're in a technical position, position, I think it would be very strange for them to have imposter syndrome. Like wh once you've done that and then you're in your job role, you, I, I was very confident in my ability mm. after passing that exam. So anything I got in the job, I was like, yeah, cool. I can handle it. If I even... If I don't know it right now, no problem. I'll go and figure it you out found, and I'll fix find it. find a way. Yeah, yeah you figure yeah. it out. Yeah. Okay. So um, the only problem, or not problem, I would say rather skills to be added is maybe management skills, social skills, which is also very important. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. Right? Because not all CCIEs can have a social skills or presentation skills. Yeah. So I think that's very important, especially if you're moving to a higher position, like technical manager or, or a CTO, CSO, CISO. Yeah. Was that, you know, that CISSP certification? Yeah, by IS squared. Yeah. 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 Um, what do you think about it? Um, okay, this is going to be controversial. I, I did that exam, mm, okay? Yeah. And it's it's actually like, like very respected mm, certification. Yeah. Um, I found the exam quite strange. A lot of the questions on it because it's, it's a multiple choice it, exam. Yeah, it's multiple choice and it's not a particular vendor. So there's no real technical yeah. questions on there. There's, car, there's some kind of like pseudo technical questions on there. But, um, yeah, I did, I, honestly, I didn't learn all that much studying for and taking that exam, not compared with other exams I've done, because all the technical exams, yeah, it's technical stuff you have to learn. You have to learn the, the features, you need to understand how to configure and troubleshoot them. With CISSP, it's kind of more vague 
because it's security and management. It's scenario in based. General. Yeah, like scenario based. Uh, if yeah. you put in that situation, what will you do? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I took the course, like five day course. Yeah. I got bored. Yeah. Yeah, I got bored. So like, I didn't so you take. You probably didn't learn much, right? Like the stuff that was in there is obvious anyway. Yeah. 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 So I, I took the course, a five day course, but. I got bored because uh, I prefer that if you attend the course, there will be a lab part. But no, that five-day course is all talk. It's all theory. All, yeah, all theory. You never did the exam? I didn't. See, this is what I shout at people for. <laughs> if you're going to learn the thing, do the certification as well, and then it's on your resume. Mm. Yeah. I can do that anytime I want if I, if I want to. Yeah. yeah. 